I got products for the free free. I got products for the free free. Ayo. <laughs> so please accept me for who I am. And please accept me for what I do. I'm just doing everything that I can. Cause all I wanna be is true. Hey guys, it's your girl CC. Welcome back to a new video. If this is your first time here, and if you're a returning subscriber, as always, I wanna say thank you. I don't know how you found me, but just make sure you keep on coming back so on today's video we are doing a another what's in my bag video i've been slacking on these videos i have three bags four bags three bags i believe to go through with you guys and literally they've been sitting in the bags and I haven't really done much with it. So if you're not already subscribed, please make sure you do so. I always tell you guys, I don't know how you found me. Just make sure you keep on coming back. Please make sure you guys are hitting the like button, the subscribe button, you know, leaving me comments down below. I love replying to you guys. I like had a brain fart there for a second. I love replying to you guys. So, you know, let me know if you guys have used any of these products that I'm about to show. Um, so yeah. So without further ado, if you would like to see what we got in a new bag from Sephora. Let go. <laughs> All right guys, so without further ado, if you didn't know, now I'm gonna tell you that I do currently work at Sephora as a part-time. So when you do work for them, they give you what's called gratis bags. Um, so just in case you guys are new here, I've done some of these videos before. Please make sure you guys are checking out those videos, but not before you watch this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you get these bags, they're called gratis. So pretty much you get these bags for free i always say it's not really for free because technically you are working for them and yes you do get a paycheck right but you are putting in the time and energy and going through different product trainings to learn about these products and although we're able to test them on the floor and depending on what it is swatch it feel it rub it in whatever it is always good to be able to take products home. So they do give you what's called these gratis bags, right? So I do get all these products for free. Sometimes they're mini sizes, sometimes they're full sizes. Sometimes it's products that I can resell, to be honest with you. Um, but a lot of times they do mark them up. So just in case, but anyway, so what I do like to do in these videos is I literally, the bag is open. I did open the bag but I just like to pull and we gonna experience what's in the bag together. All right, all right. So first thing up, I'm gonna just put the products right here. So first thing up are the Shiseido Facial Cotton um, wipes. Ooh, the lights might wash it out, y'all. All right, so here you go right here. This has a count of 40 in the inside. I've heard these are really, really good wipes. I've just never personally tried them. And as I was telling you guys, they do like to mark up the packaging. So you can't like try to return them or resell them. Next up, we have the Estee Lauder, Estee, Estee Lauder? <laughs> um, Futurist Aqua Brilliant. It's a primer, a watery glow primer. Y'all know how I feel about the glue. Anyway, so that's what it looks like right here. Sorry if the lights are washing it out, guys. So yeah, that's the product right there. And I will make sure to have all the products linked in the description or at least shown in the description so you guys can reference anything that I am talking about. A lot of times they will also just give you the product without the box. So it depends. This is a Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I have it in the shade 5N1 Walnut. So that's what it looks like right there. So yeah, this is the product right here. And as you can see, they marked up, they marked up this one real ugly. <laughs> so that's supposedly what the color is right there. 
that is walnut next up in the bag we have an amica product this is the perk up plus extend extended clean dry shampoo this is the 1.8 ounce so yeah 1.8 ounce together so this is the oh this is Gwen Stefani's I was very confused this is Gwen Stefani's line GXVE I don't know if that's exactly how you pronounce it I do have two one or two of the red lipsticks I forget because it comes in two different ones of the red lipsticks but it's a really nice um, red lipstick but anywho the same thing here or there this one is called twinkle i see in sparkle okay it says me you yours so i'll just show you guys the packaging here and this is the top Next up, looks like a NARS product. This is the NARS, I'm assuming this is blush, and Behave. <laughs> For who? Is that a joke? For who? This is like the same color as my palm. Is this a joke? Are we being serious? Bro, this is... I'm disgusted. What is this? I'm assuming... I'm gonna look it up. I'm assuming it's a blush. We have the Rare Beauty Mascara, which I've heard good things about this mascara. And this is the full size. But of course, like I said, they don't give you the top on some of the products. But yeah, that was the Red Beauty Mascara. This is the, huh, who's this? It's another mascara. Lit 8 Mud Nose. Listen here, the packaging is pretty though. This pack, oh, it's Lancome. It's on the other side. <laughs> it's on the other side. But yes, Lancome. You, do you see the shape of the bottle? The shape of the bottle is like, <laughs> boom, boom, pow. Very unique, but it's another mascara. I'm pretty positive this is a mascara. Yep, mascara. I don't want to take it all the way out. Next up, we have the Ordinary Salicystic. I could never say that word, Salicystic Acid 2% Solution. I've given Sai a couple of Ordinary products. Y'all, I'm so sorry. These lights are like really washing these products out. There we go. All right, so this is the Ordinary This is the one ounce of the ordinary. Next up, we have Youth to the People Kabucha plus 10% AHA Power Exfoliant. And this is in the four ounce. So, yeah, guys, this is the Kabucha plus 10% AHA Power Exfoliant. And this is in the four ounce bottle. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like right here. Oh, it kind of matches my sweater. So yeah, it does have, it's a pore top. Is it already open? It is. Oh, that, 
Oh, so it's a, oh, okay. Reading is fundamental. I should have read that a little bit further. Um, it's an overnight resurfacing peel. Got it. Got it. Cause that is thing. It's thing. I wasn't ex <laughs> I wasn't expecting this product, but this is the, which I don't know if this is my shade. Oh, maybe, maybe. This is the, oh, let me show you. I'm just so stunned. I didn't know this was in here. This is the House Labs by Lady Gaga. And this is in the shade 490 Medium Deep Cool. Did I get a sample of this? I want to say yes. I don't remember. I want to say yes. And I tried it and tested it and I wasn't been a while but i'm pretty sure i have some of this i don't remember the color but anyway this is the house labs by lady gaga foundation so 490 medium deep cool and this is what the packaging looks like mark it up real ugly like why couldn't it have just been in the back i need to check to see if that's my shade y'all always know i said this in the um i said this in the makeup by mario review that i always pretty much shade match myself especially if i've already seen a review i always use her reference and that is andrea renee i always use her as a reference she gets it wrong she never she she gets it wrong she never gets it wrong yo this one is the killian which this will probably be a gift to someone oh she cute she cute let me show y'all this is the killian love don't be shy and this is what it looks like and this this is the perfume so this is what it looks like this is a nice size little, you know, tester version, but I don't think I like this. I might gift that to somebody. Cause I don't really think I like that. All right, so we have Natasha Denona. This is a lipstick. Yeah, my dream lipstick. And it says, uh, voluptuous, creamy, hydrating lip color. It's a very, very, very pretty nude. So that's what it looks like. Let me show you the packaging. Packaging is cute. Packaging is very, very cute. So it has like a magnetic top too. That's cute. We like that. We like that. We're almost done, y'all. This is the KVD Tattoo Liner in black. I've heard really good things about this liner, but you do have to shake it very, very well. There was a time when a lot of people would return this lighter because we got a lot of complaints of it being dry jump right i heard they were supposed to be fixing the formula of this i don't know if they did to be honest with you but this is a waterproof liquid liner so i'm excited to try this y'all do know that's like my staple my eyebrows my liner i don't always have to wear lashes because i could just throw some mascara on but yeah so this is the danessa myricks and emerald the pencil which I do so funny story I originally went to buy emerald because it is a very 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 pretty green let me swatch it for you guys oh my god 
it's like a pretty green metallic color so i originally went to buy this and when i went to buy it of course it was sold out when it came back in stock i thought i bought this and come to find out i bought jade which is another really nice green but this is the one i actually wanted so emerald so there you go next up is a natasha denona lip liner i need a nude lip crayon long lasting easy gel lip pencil so it's not a twist up so i'm assuming you're gonna have to sharpen this so it's a very pretty nudie color i don't know this is probably that would probably be better as an all over lip color with like a nice chocolate do y'all see that green now with like a nice chocolate brown lip liner that's cute i wouldn't definitely wear it with the um i wouldn't wear it with the lipstick if i was to wear it with the lipstick i would need to have on brown liner and it would need to be like a combo of a little bit of that a little bit of this some gloss some gloss or whatever all right shall we down to the last couple of products this is sunday riley ceo afterglow brightening vitamin c cream and this is the big boy and this one i could um i think i could resell this because they did not mark this up at all so i'm pretty sure i could resell this so this is what it looks like i have a lot of sunday riley products i'm thinking about doing a giveaway honestly let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see a giveaway because i have a lot of products but this is the big boy this is the 1.7 i'm not sure if it comes in a bigger size than this but this is an expensive brand this is let me grab my phone So yeah, this is, um, Sunday Riley is not a cheap brand. So I'm going to actually look up the price for you guys, just so you can know. So if you guys have the Sephora app, so yeah, if you guys have, so if you guys have the Sephora app, if you go to the search bar, you have two options. You have a voice search and you have a scan barcode. I'd love to use this when I'm at work, especially. And you just scan the barcode and it gives you the price. Honey, baby, this is sick. I'm gonna just let y'all see it yourself. This is $65. $65 for a 1.7 ounce. It does only come in one size, which is what I thought. All right, so some highlights. It's good for dullness, uneven texture, vitamin C, hydrating, good for anti-aging, best for a dry combo normal skin, and it's cruelty-free. A moisturizer that nourishes the skin, advanced vitamin C, and delivers a non-greasy satin skin finish. Yeah. So that's the it. And last but not least, wowzers maybe i shouldn't do that one just yet i have so they give you little cards that tell you about products these are the cards that come inside the educational cards that come inside but baby baby do y'all do y'all know this packaging? Do y'all do y'all know this packaging? Before I bring it closer. Tom Ford, Bitter Peach, and the 1.7 ounce. I'm gonna come a little closer for you guys. I've never smelled this. I have never smelled this. I have, I've smelled, oh, wait a minute. 
Y'all, wait a minute. I have never owned anything Tom Ford. First off, this bottle though. <laughs> this bottle is pretty. It's gonna look real nice on my little fragrance area. Okay, it's definitely giving Tom Ford for sure. Tom Ford definitely has a signature scent and it's definitely giving me Tom Ford. It's not something I would purchase. Don't get me wrong, it smells, it doesn't smell bad. I would definitely mix it with something though. I think I over sprayed it. You don't need too much. You don't need too much. It smells good. Would I personally purchase this? Because baby, let's, let's, let's see how much it is. Shall we? Let's see. Bitter peach. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> this is, is this the largest size that Sephora carries? A 1.7 is the largest size Sephora carries. Let's be clear. I don't know if that's the largest size it comes in, but what, are y'all ready? Because the girls that know, the, the people that know out here know how much this size bottle costs. Do y'all see that? $390 and that's before tax. <laughs> Her name's CC. talk about it. <laughs> talk about it, okay? All right, I do wanna do one other thing is I just want to see what what my shade would be in this before we uh, we wrap up for tonight. So House Labs Foundation. We're gonna do the shade finder. So let's see what this says. So if I use my NARS Soft Matte, Ooh, when I pull up NARS Soft Matte for the shade match, it says 460. And this is 490. All right, let's try this. You guys want to we're gonna try it one more time. We're gonna go light reflecting. Again. That's crazy. So when I put in the light reflecting, it gives me 480. In soft matte, it gave me 460. When I put in light reflecting, it gave me 480. I'm gonna try my Fenty. Why don't I see Fenty? Up here. Oh, there it is. I was about to be like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. When I put in, I think I am. That gave me 460 again. When I put in 410. Three. You got me all the way messed up. No, this is the same four feet. I... <sighs> All right, I'm gonna test one more thing. Let's go check Andrea Renee's page. She said 460, y'all. I mean, this is gonna be too dark. That means this is gonna be too dark. So I'm gonna have to give this away oh yeah this is too dark oh this is too dark yeah i mean i could probably make this work i would need to this is too tough i'm bad 
I'm um, saying, so yeah. did I pick this color? I don't know. But anywho. Anyway, y'all. So thank you guys for tuning in to a what's in my bag video. If I showed any products that you guys like, love, have been wanting to try, are interested, are blah blah blah, are interested in learning more about, please make sure you let me know down in the comments. Do remember I can give tips and tricks and different ways that I use my products. Some of these products I haven't tried, some I have tried, you know, test it out in the store and little things like that. So, anywho, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. Please make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. And as always, y'all, what does your girl like to say? Peace and love. Bye.